on the road, eyes on the prize. Hi there, all you people, how's it going? Today we're gonna to take a closer look at the 06 Camry. If this car could be one type of food, you know what it would be? It would be Walmart brand wheat bread, slightly toasted with nothing on it, not even a side of ranch. Really darn functional, but plain as heck. This car might be the rolling embodiment of bland, but we're going to look at why maybe that's not such a bad thing. This particular vehicle's name is Peter due to its average appearance and lack of standout traits in any sort of category except reliability. Yep, you heard that correct. Peter is a lovely tried and true working class name. <laughs> oh, almost forgot to mention that my name's Peter. <laughs> Anyhow, let's get on to this review before it's too late outside because we have a big day in accounting tomorrow. We're surprising Karen with a new fax machine. So when I was looking for a used vehicle, I saw this baby on the lot. And I knew right away that it was right for me because it was practical, spacious for the kiddos. It didn't break the old piggy bank. <laughs> and both the interior and the exterior were my favorite colors. Okay, so all those things are great, but why choose this car? Okay, so say you're coming up to a stoplight like I am now. And there's a really fast, fancy car next to you, like a Mustang. You glance over your left shoulder and you give your old Mustang a nice stroke. And you want to know what they do? They don't even look over at you. The light turns green and uh, we both drive off with my Camry unnoticed. I mean, honestly, it takes a lot of the pressure out of driving. I don't have to impress anyone because I look like one of the other 448,444 other 06 Toyota Camrys that were sold in the good old US of A. Also, I don't have to worry about getting to the office in time because I know that my Camry is going to start up every morning and it definitely won't leave me stranded on the freeway. Oh yeah, and also, I don't have one of those expensive interiors so I don't have to worry about dropping one of my delicious hard-boiled eggs on the carpet during my morning commute. Oh, speaking of the interior, this 8-way power driver's seat is really comfy cozy. I mean, <laughs> heck, I'd be happy with a 2-way. I mean, as far as driving dynamics go, the car feels big and it's very, very isolated from the road with really light handling and minimal steering feedback. I mean, honestly, it feels like the steering wheel is connected to the front wheels with two rubber bands. But it's secure enough. I mean, I'm not going on a racetrack or anything, right? And although the car is pretty big, I mean, it's fairly light, all things considered. Because of its small drivetrain, fairly light wheels, and, and sparse interior. Just to give you some sort of perspective, my 2014 GTI is 13 pounds heavier than this base model Toyota Camry. So although this makes, mm, I wouldn't say anything more than 140 ponies now, it's fairly quick. It is fairly quick. I mean, Peter's got some pep in his step. In 06, car manufacturers had less safety regulations, which would add to the overall curb weight of the car. Right now, I'm kind of following my instincts. I have no idea where I really am. Oh, oh. Throttle's real sensitive. And he's, oh boy, listen to that four cylinder purr. Oh, those. This also doesn't latch down. This base model here comes with all the accessories I can even think of. I mean, we've got power door locks and windows, we've got AM and FM radio, and one of these um, compact disc players. And there's nothing else fancy in here. <clears throat> and there's nothing else here that distracts you from driving the supermarket to pick up some fresh eggs, to go home and hard boil for the next day of work. So there you have it, the 06 Camry, a boring, uneventful machine that gets you from point A to point B with no drama. But for some of us, that's really all we need. It's cheap to buy and it's cheap to maintain, which makes it perfect for someone on a budget. Trust me, I'm a bit of a stickler myself when it comes to vehicles. So stay tuned for future videos where I treat my Uber passengers to a thrilling ride in Peter, the 2006 Toyota Camry. Thanks for watching. Oh, more bumps. Ah, oh, oh, ah. I'm actually, I, I'm still a little lost here. Oh, God, I don't know where I am. Neither does Siri. In a quarter Just mile, turn around turn her right ear. Oh, oh. Why did I do that? <laughs> oh, my phone's about to die. I don't know, kiddos. I don't know if daddy's coming home. I'm down to my last hard boiled egg. <laughs> I didn't think I'd go out like this. I have so much to do. We were just about to get a new fax machine. <laughs>